Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel again. I'm John Cox, an independent professional photographer based in Salford in the northwest of England. I'm going to share you some more uh, photographs of wild birds, this time water birds. Inland lakes, in country parks, ponds, in local parks, harbours are great locations for photographing water birds. Because they tend to be larger in the main, they are less edgy than smaller birds and are attracted to food thrown by the public quite often, so they provide an easy subject to practice photography skills on and at the same time enjoy a nice day. Because they're larger, you don't need to get quite so close and in general in flight they have slower wing beats so it's easier to catch them sharply. Do of course respect the birds and especially don't get too close if they're guarding their young, especially swans, which can be dangerous if they feel that you're threatening their young. Here's a range of photographs that I've taken on trips out, mostly locally in Salford at um, a beautiful park called Clifton Marina, which has a huge lake, but other locations too. There's a range of birds, including coots, swans, um, mallard ducks, which are really cute. I always choose a time of day when it's nice and sunny and get the right side so the sunlight is on the face of the bird. I also like to get in close when I can and take, for example, just the head and focus on the eyes. Always keep away from nesting birds. I used a very long lens to take this shot without disturbing it. Tufted ducks don't rely on um, public food. They're very independent and they tend not to come in close to where the public are feeding. So it is actually quite difficult to get close up to them. Gulls are scavengers um, and they're pretty easy to get shots of. This is a black swan at Abbotsbury Swannery in Dorset. Very easy to get close up there. Simple shot of a female mallard in a local park near where I worked. The beautiful markings of a female mallard. This is at Abbotsbury Swannery in Dorset again. Lovely opportunity to get really close to swans nesting without disturbing them and close up to the head. Beautiful shot of a little signet chick and a little group of them there too on their nest. It's a gorgeous shot of a signet keeping warm in its mother's feathers. Now when you're shooting birds that are flying, the bigger birds are easy to get. It's just a question of tracking them with your camera and taking the shot at the appropriate time. Cute little uh, Canada goose gosling. Astonishingly beautiful, the wings of birds in flight. Here I just tracked it, predicted where these birds would be, and just kept watching and firing, because practice is the only way. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. This is a local park. Again, Clifton Marina, it's got a huge lake, and there's a wide range of birds. There's a grebe, which are completely independent and very difficult to get close up to. There's another tufted duck, again, they're quite independent. Occasionally, they'll come in close enough to get great shots. Mallard ducks are always a joy to take photographs of. They're beautifully marked, and you can get pretty close without them being disturbed. The female mallard, absolutely beautiful. Feathering, lovely light. Again on the water. They're coming close because of feeding. And some little Canada geese gosling grazing on grass. Beautiful family picture. Again, Clifton Marina in Salford. Oh dear, I don't know what happened to that one. That was uh, Weymouth Harbour. Again, Clifton Marina. Beautiful wing patterns again. Fast shutter speed. Weymouth Harbour, rather bedraggled looking uh, herring girl. There's a female mallard preening herself. And again, all these birds keeping themselves nice and nice and tidy. Right, uh, there, we, there we are. Is my uh, business website. Don't know how that got in there. Another beautiful mallard on a sunny day in the park. Uh, more swans, this time at Pennington Flash, which is a bird sanctuary.
comical coot at uh, Clifton Marina. Never tire of taking photographs of swan. And that's a male because the cob, the lump on its nose is big. And a dutiful family following mum through, uh, through the algae. There's a close up of a swan at Abbotsby Swannery. And another. Mute swans, most uh, common in Britain. All right. There's a swan having a nice scratch. Another shot of that signet again. And a male tufted duck just come up from a dive looking for food on the bottom. I've got more photograph tips on my blog here. Just use the search facility there. Loads of photographs on my Flickr, over 10,000 of them, various subjects, including birds. I'm very active on Twitter. Join me there. And also on Facebook.